music is probably my favorite thing in the entire world. It literally is one of the reasons why I'm happy to be alive. And it's probably the same for you too. Music is just such a universally loved and appreciated item in life. For all of the many reasons why I listen to music, why you listen to music, I found myself listening to music 24 seven, essentially. I have a clear memory from around two years ago where I would wake up and first thing in the morning, before I even checked if I was still alive, I would grab my phone and start playing music. I'd play music on my way to school, walking to school, in between classes, at the gym, of course, when I went on bike rides, sometimes in class, sometimes when I was having conversations with people, literally, there was always something playing in my headphones. Even as I was going to sleep, I was playing music to help me fall asleep. Not a single hour of my day was music free, and this might be the way it is for you too, but this begs a question, is this bad? I mean, come on, Reese, it's just music. How bad could it be? It's actually good for your brain, and of course. But hear me out, because I think there might be a better way to incorporate music into our lives rather than just having it play in our ears 24 seven. And in this video, there's a process to master the role of music in your life. Before I give you the plan of action, let's talk about why maybe listening to music all day every day is not the best thing for us. I've been talking about this a bit recently, but I think it is true. Imagine it that you have a certain amount of thoughts and emotions in your brain every day. Like something is just putting, okay, today Reese is going to get 50 thoughts and emotions. And you go throughout your day, you know, listening to music and more often than not, when we listen to music, our inner dialogue, tell me if you can relate, gets kind of muffled, silenced, covered up. And then in the middle of your day, you kind of find yourself anxious, not over anything in particular, but just a sense of uneasiness. So you go on your phone or you listen to more music to cover it up. And then night comes and the music isn't even helping anymore. You're anxious and you don't know why, not over anything in particular. And then as you're trying to go to sleep, now you know why you're anxious. You're thinking about that person who isn't texting you back, that math test you probably failed, why your mom is mad at you. And all of these things are just hitting you like a truck. After 10 minutes, the thoughts kind of chill and you go back and you drift to sleep. Those 10 minutes suck. Why did all these thoughts and emotions hit you like a truck? I believe it to be because we didn't process the thoughts and emotions as they would have came up if we were not distracted. These thoughts and emotions have to come out sooner or later. So as soon as we're finally not distracted or our brain literally can't be distracted anymore, that's when we feel anxious. So if you have ever felt anxious right before you're going to sleep, this might be why. Are you distracting yourself all day? Which music can be a distraction, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit. So it's better to process your thoughts and emotions as they come up rather than be distracted. A good example of this is me when I'm at school. I don't bring headphones to school anymore. And when I walk the school halls, honestly, I'm forced to feel my social anxiety. I'm forced to feel like everyone's watching me even if they're 100% not. I'm forced to feel my insecurities. I'm forced to feel all these negative things but it makes my overall state get better because as I'm feeling these things, I affirm in my brain the things that make me feel better. If I was just listening to music as I was walking the halls, sure, I might not have to think about those things that would bring me down, but my overall state gets down because they're still affecting me. I'm just not noticing it until one day I'm just like, wow, I am so insecure. But if I were to sit there and just process them as they came up, my overall state actually gets better. Don't get me wrong, it's hard. It's hard to not listen to music in school. It's hard to actually feel these negative things that the world can sometimes bring about in you, but it is healthier and you feel better and I do feel better. But if you're a knowledge worker, like so many of us are in this modern day, meaning you do your work from your brain, not physically with labor, you need to think. The more you think, the better, I say. The more your brain is running, the more you're daydreaming, the more just overall thoughts that you are consciously aware of, the better. I'm gonna talk about presence in a second because that's kind of contradictory. But tell me I'm wrong that the best TV shows, the best movies, the best musical melodies and lyrics came from a thought. All of these thoughts are ideas. And if we are creative people or if we are working with our brain, we need ideas, as many as possible. Me and my girl were talking about this the other day because the song Break Even by The Script was playing. And we were laughing about how the studio session with the band probably went. Hey man, can I talk to you about something? Sure, bro, you can talk to me, you know that. I'm so sad, man. I miss her so much and every day is a struggle for me and she's just fine. Like she's totally fine. Hearts don't break even, man. Say that again, bro. Hearts don't break even. Write that down. This song has, I think, over a billion plays on Spotify. It's a really good song, sad as heck, but. Conversation and inner dialogue are the same thing. My best ideas for videos have just sprung out of the blue when I was just not distracted they just come up it's kind of cool actually and you kind of these moments are few and far in between but when they do come it's great most tv shows come about from just one idea everything starts with one idea 
And one idea is just one thought. So if you can observe your thoughts and turn them into ideas, that's it, man. If you're not letting your thoughts run, and if you're not daydreaming throughout the day, the amount of ideas and things you can create literally drops by 10 times. When I'm in a slump for video ideas and I don't know what I wanna make next, and I do something passive like driving, but I'm not listening to music or listening to a podcast, I will pretty much always leave that drive with a video idea. Just because I've generated more thoughts, I'm letting them come and go, and there is an idea that came. Just remember this, good ideas come from thoughts. Thoughts can be suppressed by distraction music can be a distraction. But past video ideas and anxiety, there is another reason why maybe listening to music all day is not the best thing. It kills your presence. Have you ever been talking to someone and during the conversation, you can just tell that they're not listening, they're not there, they're somewhere else? How does that make you feel? Not great. Because this makes us feel not great, we need to give the gift of listening, of space, of presence to other people so that they don't have to feel like that we're not here. It's a simple fact that you cannot be as present and therefore cannot listen as well if you are listening to music while you're having a conversation with someone. Even if it's just one headphone or one AirPod, it completely diminishes your ability to listen. It's an unfortunate truth. We get one shot at this life. I think we should be spending most of it right here, right now, super presence, e even if that presence makes us feel not good, like me walking around in school. It's better to be completely present than to be trudging along each day distracted. That's what I believe at least. There's so much flow there. <laughs> so now we know that listening to music 24-7 might not be the best thing, but there are certain benefits that you get from just listening to less music. Let me bring you back to my sophomore year of high school, two years ago, when I decided that I didn't want to bring my phone to school anymore because I actually wanted to be more present and talk to more people. The simple act of not bringing my phone to school actually made some days so much more enjoyable, even fun, even good. Wow, school. <laughs> because it made school kind of cool. Like It reminded me there are cool people in my classes I can talk to. And when I did use my phone after, when I got home, it actually felt great. It felt like a reward. That's probably how phones should be, a reward, not just this addiction vice that we carry with us everywhere. But more important to this video, when I did listen to music later, oh man, the music sounded so much better. I would usually go to the gym right after school and I would listen to music at the gym, no big deal. It wouldn't really help my workout, just kind of would, it was nice. But when I didn't listen to music for my first eight hours of the day and then I went to the gym and played my favorite music, it was like an experience. The music got me excited. It made me want to move around. It made me want to lift. It made me want to talk to people. When was the last time you experienced this? Every so often we find a song that we really, really love. And listening to that song is like an experience in itself. I have like five songs of this right now. But every song you listen to, every note will hit different when you haven't listened to music all day. This feeling lasts for maybe a week and then music becomes this mundane distraction again. Music that you've listened to a thousand times before will become an earworm, beautiful experience when you haven't listened to music for the first half of your day. Music is kind of like a drug. I couldn't go more than three days without music and I'm fine with that because it's not really harmful. But like any other drug, music has a kind of tolerance. So if you went three days without listening to music, when you did listen to music, it's an experience. I know this because I've tried it before. You should try it. But you don't need to go three days without music to experience this high of beautiful music. You just need to listen to music in more of the right way. Right way probably isn't the best way to word that because I'm not saying that my way of listening to music is better than yours and you need to do mine. I'm just saying if this intrigues you in the slightest, give it a shot. If not, that's all right too. Let's talk about music in a social setting. There's a ground rule here, no music in school. Every so often, sure, but for the most part, have most of your days not have music than have music. School has many cons. I've talked about this before, but it also has pros. It lets you practice your social skills. It lets you process certain emotions and thoughts that come up and you can actually get some good work done. But we need to be present in school. It's a necessity. There's so much we can learn every day just from being in school. And one day we might look back and think, man, I wish I was more present in school. So we owe that to our future selves to be more present in school now. So at least they can decide if being present in school was a good idea. You know what I mean? Again, don't get me wrong, listening to music in school feels great, but it is kind of like an escape from reality. And it's not good to be escaping from reality five plus times a week. When you're out somewhere with people, just leave your AirPods at home. You can jam in the car, share the experience, but when they're talking to you and you're actually having a conversation, give them space to be listened to. If you have music playing in your ear, that person will just know that what they're saying is not that important. And obviously you don't believe that, so you don't want them to feel that way. So when do we listen to music? 
my rule for listening to music is to only listen to music when it's accompanying a task or I'm not doing anything else other than listening to the music. Like I said earlier, I bike pretty much every day and it makes me wonder if the bike ride or the music that I listen to while I'm biking is actually the main event. Either way, the music is not a distraction in this case because I'm more often than not singing along to the music, air drumming or just moving around and dancing while I bike. Yes, I look dumb, but <laughs> The music is not a distraction. When I write scripts for these videos, I listen to music while I write them because I think it makes me write better. It helps me focus. The music isn't a distraction. It's accompanying what I'm doing. And I'm alone, which means I don't have to be present with another human. Therefore, I think it's okay. So if music helps your work, that's good too. Here's a controversial one now. What about the gym? I just recently made a video called Conscious Lifting where I talk about the benefits of not bringing headphones or even your phone to the gym for the same reasons that you shouldn't bring your phone or headphones to school. Essentially, presence and you can get some benefits out of it. At least try going to the gym without headphones once. If it really sucks, your workout sucks, you're not having fun, listen to music, it's fine. But also just try to talk to people in between sets. Don't make the gym an anti-social, social place. But at least try it because I love both. I love listening to music in the gym and I also love not. Both feel great. But listening to music can actually be something we do when we're bored or we have nothing else to do. When was the last time you listened to a whole album in full? Have we forgotten that the set list, the order of songs in an album is usually there for a reason? Especially in like the 90s and before. You don't listen to the dark side of the moon on shuffle. At least I hope not or else you're crazy. Make an experience out of it. Get a good pair of headphones, get a good speaker, and do nothing else other than just listen to an album from start to finish. Or just listen to the music you love but with nothing else to do other than to focus on the music. It's great, it's an experience, it's awesome. This is how we listen to music pretty much for our decades before we had phones that could play music anytime, anywhere, and that's awesome. That is amazing technology, but sometimes it doesn't work. But music is something special. It is life to me. I love it so much, and you probably do too. Don't let something so beautiful, so incredible just become a distraction. Every time I listen to music now, it's an experience, as it should be. I want this for you too. I'm a mental health coach. Check the first link in the description if you're interested. Also, click the join button next to the subscribe button to see if you want to become a channel membership for private Q&As, private videos, private discords, private live streams, a bunch of other cool stuff. Have a beautiful rest of your day.